Centaur. Training and debriefing in 15 minutes. Dino, report to Bay 23. Sideswipe Bay 37 for weapons assessment. Senator, I suggest you remember that when the NSA wants funding, they call me. When the CIA is going to take out a target, they ask first for my permission. And when the president wants to know which members of Congress are politically vulnerable in terms of, oh, let's say, undiscovered criminal conduct, I'm the number he dials. U.S. agencies say they've been monitoring the blast. But if, in fact, this was a covert military strike, no nation has yet... CIA is up my ass about this mystery raid in the Middle East, so it's time to come clean. Was your unit involved? Uh, I'm not sure, ma'am. All right, guys, this is how you do a Decepticon head kill shot. As director of national intelligence, I'm a really big fan of intelligent answers. I, I can't really tell you definitively. These Autobots are like teenage kids. They like to sneak out of the house every once in a while. Colonel Lennox, are you in command or are yes, you not? Yes, ma'am, I am. Stop it's... with the ma'am. Enough with the ma'am. Do I look like a man? No, ma'am. Yeah, yes, ma'am. Yes. This gun is my perfect invention, Ironhide. Right. Oh, good. You're here. My name's Q. I do hope you have answers for him. I've never seen him so upset. Optimus, you remember Charlotte Mearing? Our director of national intelligence? He's in a bad mood. He's not talking to anybody today. What is this? The silent treatment? We've seen that, and this is not that. Definitely not. This is worse. Prime, make something of yourself. He's pissed. <laughs> You lied to us. Everything humans know of our planet, we were told had all been shared. So why was this found in human possession? We were in the dark on this also. It was director-only clearance at Sector 7 until now. The bag. Which bag? Hermes Birkin Green Ostrich. Oh my god. This is a secret few men knew. And fewer still remain alive. Allow me to please introduce to you two of NASA's founding mission directors and astronaut Dr. Buzz Aldrin, one of the first two men to step foot on the moon. Sir, Optimus Prime. And from a fellow space traveler, it's a true honor. The honor is mine. Our entire space race of the 1960s, it appears, was in response to an event. Our astronauts investigated a crashed alien ship. No survivors on board. We were sworn to secrecy by our Commander-in-Chief. This was a mission you will never speak of. I understand, sir. A total of 35 people knew the real plan at NASA. Soviets managed to land unmanned probes. Somehow they must have picked up that fuel rod. We believe the Russians deduced that the rod was a fissionable fuel assembly, believe they had it mastered and tried to harness it at Chernobyl. We landed six missions in all. We took hundreds of photos and samples. We locked them away forever. And the moon program was shut down. Well, did you search the crash vault? The ship's name was the Ark. I watched it escape Cybertron myself. It was carrying an Autobot technology which would have won us the war. And its captain. Who was its captain? The great Sentinel Prime, the technology's inventor. He was commander of the Autobots before me. It's imperative that I find it before the Decepticons learn of its location. Our Autobot spacecraft has the ability to get there. And you must pray it's in time. <laughs> 